What's up YouTube, Jeff back again today on the very exciting Samsung video for you guys. And today we're gonna to be talking about a very exciting update to one of Samsung's best good luck modules, Home Up, a module we all know and love. Added a couple of new exciting features to the Home Up module. I will save you the time of thinking that it adds the vertical app drawer. It does not do that. I know a lot of you probably wait around for the end of the video to see if it adds vertical app drawer. That is not coming until at least July with One UI 6.1.1. Samsung's already confirmed that. But we do have two cool new features we're going to look at today. Before we get started, I do want to thank my son, Jonathan, for giving us some animals. The uh, mammoth today is so colossal. He barely even fits back here in the frame. He's absolutely gorgeous. He got that one from the Natural History Museum. And then this T-Rex as well, he also got from the Natural History Museum here uh, in Mesa, where we went a couple weeks ago. He's a huge fan. We always appreciate my three-year-old son giving us some toys to hang out in the video. If you're new to the channel, check out my alpha link. You can always see the latest video. Sign up for our newsletter to get a free mystery box when you order your new Samsung phone. The details about that are below. All you gotta do is use our affiliate link to order your new phone at pre-order time. We send out a case cleaning kit, desktop phone stand, other randomly assorted goodies, gift cards, etc. We do it for free. We cover the shipping. It's all below if you wanna check it out. Also the website and all that good stuff as well. So let's talk about this update to Home Up. Now, as always, I gotta give a shout out to my good friend Tarun over on Twitter, always tirelessly, tirelessly covering everything that's happening with Samsung updates. And a lot of the times before I see the update in the Galaxy Store, I'm always checking myself, he'll have posted the APK. I really appreciate that. Um, version 15.0.01.19 rolled out. It's not in the Galaxy Store yet on the US Unlock model, at least it wasn't for me. I had to download the APK which Tarun generously uploaded right there to his drive link. I'll drop a link below to his post on Twitter if you guys wanna download it. So what does this bring? Well, he talked about it a little bit here, but I'll go in and show you some of the features. Um, the features that it brings are finder access on both the home and app screens and also app icon scaling. So if we go into good lock, let me actually back out here so you guys can see here, let's go into the app here, if you go to about, you'll see if you scroll down that I've updated to the newest version, 15.0.01.19. Let's go ahead and go in here, take a look at the new features. So if you go into home screen, the first new feature that you'll notice is down here, you have finder access, and now we can add finder access on the home screen, the app screen, or both. So if you enable this, what it's gonna do is now when you swipe down anywhere on your home screen, you're automatically gonna get your finder access, which also includes Google search results and things like that. You can also do it inside the app screen as well. Um, this is great because you get access to all your apps, you get access to your photos, your recent searches. Um, it aggregates basically everything across your phone. You can get a lot of information there, especially if you use Bixby and things like that. You can get even more information uh, integrated into the finder. I actually showed a trick where you could also integrate your Google search results, but that does require a third-party app. I want to mention that because someone probably heard me say that. Uh, Samsung really should start integrating all of that into the search results when you go into finder. It'd be a really nice touch. But now you can do this from both the home screen and the app screen. That's something we've been waiting for on Home Up for some time. The other new feature, which you'll probably notice at the very bottom here, is app icon setting. And so if you go into the app icon setting menu, which is new, you turn this on. First of all, they reorganized some of the options about app icons previously. The show app icon label on home screen and show app icon label on the apps tray. Those were both options that were previously on the last screen, but they were now moved into the new app icon setting. What this lets you do is it lets you go ahead and scroll and change your icon size. So you'll notice that if you go to 120, to me, they look very large. You can see how large these are right here. Um, the icons just look pretty large at 120. So, I mean, I played around with this a little bit. You can go all the way down to 80%. This is what they look like at 80. I think they just look tiny. Um, but I, I find 100 or 110 or 105 is about good for me. 105 actually looks pretty good. I kind of like this sizing. So you can play around and see what works best for you, but it's definitely nice. One thing I do like is that they allowed us to scroll continuously. You don't have to just go from like 100 to 110 or 100 to 105. You can go like 1%, 2% in between. So you've got a nice amount of variability 
between the different icon sizes. Like I said, I know a lot of people are going to want to mention the vertical app drawer. That is not there, as you can see. Um, there's some new things that have been added recently with background color control and blur control as well in the layout. Um, you can play with those as well down here, which allows you to look at your blur rate when you enter and exit your apps and also the colors that you have when you do that. But in terms of having the vertical app list, there is no option for that yet. Uh, hopefully it'll be back with One UI 6.1.1. We did finally get all the different task changer layouts back. Um, that rolled out actually previously. The app label, that's actually in here for task changer, even though it's inside of that thing I just showed you, the new apps list feature for the home and the lock screen. One thing I would like to see, by the way, if anyone from Samsung is watching, is inside here, what we really need is we need the ability to change the scaling uh, separately for the apps list and for the home screen. Those need to be separate options. So I could have one size on my home screen and one for the apps list. Let me know what you guys think about that. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Huge shout out to Tarun. I'll drop the link below if you want to get the APK. As always, highly trust him. But of course, make your own decisions before installing uh, APK files. Check out the alpha link. Sign up for the newsletter if you're interested in the mystery boxes. Subscribe for more great Samsung content. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.